This used to be quite a good little amplifier, um, 100 watt Hona OAB with a 9 pin organ input um, and four other um, inputs here and uh, anyway what happened to it is six speakers um, all rotted away and I think that one's, that one's just about had it as well so I could for about 60 quid possibly just get three three speakers quite often they have three uh, 50 watt um, six ohm speakers and um, this one had six and um, I can't really afford to put six speakers in however I've got another little plan and that's to just get a 100 watt speaker and put that Leslie in um, which I'm guessing would have to go in an upright position. Um, they did do um, a really tasty Leslie speaker. This is a Hona. Um, it sat down that way, but there isn't room for that to go in. From top to bottom, from the back of the speaker at the minute to, um, to here, that's 13 inches. Um, so what I want to find out is whether I could make some changes here. So if I take out the, tr the, the treble speakers from inside, and uh, so if I take these out, there's about a foot of space from the wood, between the wood space here. So if I take this away, I want to find out if I can make 13 inches to about here and still have room for the amplifier. So that's the next step is to pull this to bits, take away the woodwork and see if there's enough room. Oh, it's tiny. Just realized there's a, uh, there's a reverb tank on this. So that's what that is. I've got some chipboard to replace this. If I break it getting it out, it's not screwed, it's just glued in, unfortunately, so I don't think it's going to come out without breaking it. Alright, this had to get destroyed to pull it off. Okay. I'm going to have to take these tubes out. Won't be needing those anymore, and may as well remove these. They're just going to get in the way. I think so. Uh, and this little crossover down here, that's getting in the way as well. Uh, Leslie just slipped straight in, almost as if it was designed to fit. If I was to chop away this piece of woodwork here to give me an, an extra couple of inch depth then I'm guessing that this, uh, there you go, then that would slip back in on the, on the groove it came out of, and then uh, I'd be able to put it back exactly where it first came from. That's as far back as I can get the, this Leslie. Okay, so the wadding's in place. We'll see how it performs with this speaker, but this, this won't be the right speaker, so I'll have to change that. And it seems to sit quite nicely. There's enough space there. 
to get the Leslie motor running, um, what I'm planning on doing is taking a tap off this primary winding. Um, this will run at 110, so I can take the tap off of there, um, and then I can run the the, uh, the motor on that. So you can hear hear that effect quite strongly on slow. Once it gets to a slow speed. Thank you. 